little boring. Yeah. <laughs> and there were almost no, like, no misplace. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Almost none. Should probably fix what? Oh, ne at negative 17? Oh. I see what's going on. All right, so we've got myself on Mina and Den again. So I just want to play it again. Slimefoot Stowaway, Leash of Smiles of Death, and Sampet Voice of Sense. So we have uh, two green red decks, and then a uh, red black white, and then a green black. Uh, this one looks okay, not great. I feel like we just do it to see if we can get something else. And only slightly we'll worse. Keep this. Yeah. Like, could you guys hear me clearly, or? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. All right. Yeah, we keep this one. Got. It. Like, I can hear you. I can hear you, but none, none, no one else. You can't hear me. There we go. Well, yeah, I can hear you now. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I haven't been talking much. Sorry. All right. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. So, at the moment, the time is like almost five in the morning. <laughs> oh, jeez. Where are you at? Norway. Ah. Yeah, it's it's only about quarter to eleven here. Yeah. To 11. I just figured, why not? Why not? <laughs> why not? Just jump in. Yeah. I mean, that's what uh, Wild Bull does all the time. He's over in in Germany, so. Oh. He usually sleeps a little, wakes up, plays on stream, and then goes back to bed for a little bit. <laughs> That's what I did. I like slept for two hours. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to do something that's going to... Rock our worlds? No, I'm at the, you know, life total lead. Get in there. That dog is... <laughs> Super asleep now. <laughs> he just. Yeah, and he's on the throne. Uh... I want to show you this. Right. Dog. I'm in lead. Hey, get him. He's on a throne. <laughs> Can we see yeah. I'm jungling. Oof. <laughs> Just laying on the floor like a big old puddle of puppy. <laughs> that is ramp. That is, that is not your job in those colors. No. <laughs> I guess we'll lose now because he's ramping. Right. I might be able to. Oh shit! Man. More ramp. More ramp. In Norway, the word "ramp" means rascal. Nice. <laughs> so now you know that. Congratulations. <laughs> Doing stuff, basically. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Oh. Legs need to stretch. Squeaky chair. It's weird you're live, but when I open the Twitch app, you don't show up as broadcasting. Oh, no, that's unfortunate. Huh. Yeah, that happened a few times. Just like last week, I was trying to find people. You're like you were online, but mm -hmm. I couldn't. It didn't tell me that you were. That's weird. I wonder if there's something going on. With the it's average. probably Illuminati. <laughs> That's we can just blame it all on them, right? Yes. 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Nerovi says, hey, Lunel's playing Alicia. I realized when I shared this list, I posted an outdated one. There's actually no um, Amulet host in here anymore. Oh. Didn't, didn't like it? or? Uh, yeah, it was just mana intensive, and um, I wanted to add a soft sweeper and went to cut it and realized it was already cut. Tony T, ever going to do MTG Arena? I have done it a little bit, but uh, if I get a chance, I would like to do it again. I did a draft from Amonkhet Hour of Devastation, and I'd never done one in that format before, so it's pretty interesting. Okay, so now you've played something, and I have to play something now, or else I look like, or yeah, else this, I look like a stupid guy. The, the <laughs> symmetry would just be broken. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. What's different oh, well, about it's not an edict effect. It's different about 3DH. 3DH just means that we have a budget version. It means that it's a lot more fun because you can actually brew. Yeah, you can build lots of decks, and there's certain cards that uh, you can't play, like Soul Ring and Commander Sphere, out of budget, or very very high on the budget list. So they're basically <laughs> out of budget. You can, because, well, if you do, you play, like, 1DH afterwards. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Crab got yeah, what's, yeah, Soul Ring's, nice. like, what, 150? Yeah. Ooh. May I submit a gem list to you may enjoy for Commander versus Irritated Steven Green at SCG Con with great facts. You are more than welcome to send me deck lists for Commander versus. I can't guarantee that I will end up playing them, but... I will Damn always, it. You should have played a thing. Always, always save them for the fan submitted episode. I just have a huge list, and I go through every single fan submitted episode and go, "Yeah, this looks good." I've even well, I'm not on the throne anymore. I've even thrown right. a couple into the randomonium just because I've liked liked how they looked and wanted somebody to actually get a chance to play because they looked fun. Yeah, T for um if you want to brew, you feel free. There's a a Google spreadsheet link in the pin section of the 3DH on Discord. If you check out the Discord there, uh, and go into the pins, there's the the sheet that is the official price list. We lock it in at the beginning of a season, uh, which is just a little while after uh, a set release, one of the main four set releases so that everybody's on the same page. Yeah, if you go to the 3DH magic, which, uh, let me show you here, uh, 3DH magic here, and go up to the pinned messages, there is the sheet right there. That first pin is actually a Google spreadsheet. Just make sure to copy it to your personal drive uh, so that it will be editable for you and you can add stuff in and there's a place for your commander up at the top and then it auto calculates based on the prices and tells you how close you are to your budget or going over your budget uh pirathon oh i have a shiri she's she's a caretaker deck that would have tons of fun on commander versus it's such a controlling mono black 1x deck that has so many moving parts Ooh. Two damage to each opponent. Ooh. Sacrifice creature with the greatest power. Wow. That's just mean. Just remember, Caesar did this to you, not me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't cast a spell. Uh-huh. I mean I wanted to get a slime foot. <laughs> Ugh. I mean, the Prowling Super Pod's probably not going to get countered anyway, and none of my stuff's really going to get countered, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, I'm not one to play Mana Tithe. Do that. Call that good. 
now to figure out Google stuff. Yeah, it's it's just a Google spreadsheet. You just gotta kind of make sure to put it in your your drive and everything, and then do all that. There's that slime foot. What? Stoneforge masterwork. That seems really good. Uh, really good right now, though. He's like, yay, big. <laughs> Crab Goddess says, one of my best memories, tithing a turn one soul ring. Whew. So Caesar fall down is being attacked by both of those. So both of those triggers happen. Oh, and I wanted to thank everybody in the stream, in the chat, who is subscribed to the YouTube channel. We've just passed a thousand subscribers. Super excited. It's a super big milestone. Thank you, everybody, for subscribing. It is currently just archives of the stream. I am looking to expand that a little bit, hopefully get some cool new original content in there, and I'm trying to figure out what I would like to do because uh, I want to do something fun, but I don't want to do anything that would be super boring, you know? I don't know if people really want to sit there and listen to me talk about, like, the new set commanders or something like that because I want to make sure people would enjoy it. But I'm very excited. It's, it's a really big milestone. It means a lot to me for everybody who's subbed. So thank you so much, everybody who's subbed to the channel. How do you save to the spreadsheet? Or how do you save to the Google Drive? You have to... Uh, I think I have it open here. Actually, if you click File, make a copy, I believe, or add to my drive. One of the two. Make a copy, I think, when you do... Yeah, and then folder My Drive. And that'll add it to your personal drive. So that'll be what you want to do. And you can name it whatever you want, and then you can manipulate it, edit it however you need to. Add to my drive doesn't work. It just makes a shortcut to the uneditable version. Okay. Yeah, so make a copy is what you want then. Thank you, appear with them. Okay, so we want to do this. That. Ew. Ugh. Yup. Ugh. Ugh. Show off that. That was gross. Yes, I would like to use that ability. Look at my baby. No, it, it, it seems really useless right now. <laughs> right? There's no reason to do this. Uh, yeah, I think we don't swing into anything. I mean, Lindell's got a 3-3. Three, three. Probably not going to block with that, and I'm probably not going to block with the slime foot. I might. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, we'll see if Lindell wants to get rid of that brutal horde chief for any reason. Yeah, the whole deck needs to stay under three ticks, but that uh, doesn't include your basics. Basics are free. 
and I believe wastes and snow covereds we're also considering as basics. I believe we made that rule. Hey, Mino, welcome back. It's a morph. What is it? It's a bender. Uh, morph. It's a morph. It's a morph. It's a morph. Look at my morph. My morph <laughs> is amazing. Could be anything, but it is definitely still a will bender. <laughs> it is in this non blue deck. Always and forever. Still will bender. Like the rule is, you have to always have to play at least one morph. Because it could be Wheelbender. So we talked a little bit about the new San Diego Comic Con promos at the beginning of the hour, at the beginning of the oh stream. Oh my god! And they are super nice looking. I am so excited for it. I really want to see if I can get a copy. Because I love Teresa's work, and those are very pretty. If I can't get a copy, I'll probably just see if I can hit her up for some prints. She'll probably have them available on her. Uh, or sight at some point, I'm sure. Yeah, I kind of fell in love with those uh, was the with the artwork. Yeah, the Nissa, <laughs> the Nissa is just really nice looking. Yeah, I love it. And then she confirmed that uh, some people were saying the Nissa and the Fraley's mainly, and the Chandra kind of looked like Christine Sprinkle. Yeah. And then later, she confirmed that Christine modeled for almost all of the different pieces. So. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I think that was uh, last year in the middle of summer or spring. Christine talked about uh, online about going to Teresa's house for like a weekend. And that must have been what they were doing. Because it was because all of those are uh, signed by her and dated 2017. So she obviously finished those. Also, it was... Um, who was it? Uh, Mark Winters, I think, was the art director of those two and confirmed that those are the reason why Therese did not do a um, a saga card in Dominaria. Uh. It's because she was too busy working on, on those promo planeswalkers. Yeah. Like a Therese uh, saga card would be nice. Yeah, it would be super sweet, but I mean... If we don't get a three saga card and we get these five beautiful planeswalkers, I'm I'm pretty okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I, I bought the first set of the uh, planeswalkers, the first one that came out, the very first San Diego black, the very black first ones. one. Yeah, I really like those. Yeah, I had uh, the ones that came with Garrick's axe. I think that was the second year. <laughs> yeah, and uh, sold the cards after a while. And kept the axe because like i really wanted to play with them but just seeing them in person i'm like man i'm never going to be able to actually like read these on a regular basis yeah. do you use the axe though though it's in my basement currently or, <laughs> no attic currently and i'm definitely keeping it around it's going to be used for props or whatever at some point you know mm -hmm. it's just such a great nerf toy um, but yeah, I, I really wanted the poster one last year. I thought that was kind of cool, but couldn't justify it at the time. Uh, I did, however, get the, the Hascon promos from the shop afterwards. Cause I think those look really sweet. I like the, uh, transformer card. Yeah. Yeah. That one was actually the least, um, like uh, least of a, of a draw, I guess. Yeah. The one that was lowest on my list as a draw. The other ones, sort of. the sort of Dungeons and Dragons and the Nerf War were both really. <laughs> that's my style there. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. As soon as I saw Nerf War, I, I immediately said on camera that I'm going to use this in a Commander versus game, and then um, I can't remember if it was Crab Goddess. This, this looks bad. Uh, this looks. Was bad. Crab Goddess? Were you the one that bought the Nerf gun? Or was that? 
somebody else. Valdor, maybe? Right. I cannot remember Can't who it was spe you. specifically, but somebody went on that wasn't Crab Goddess. I cannot remember off the top of my head because it was almost a year ago at this point. Uh, but somebody purchased us the uh, the Nerf gun that sits behind me during split second on the wall. And it's like a one of those uh, fully automatic battery operated like 30 darts kind of things. And so I just went yeah. crazy. Yes, Crab Goddess got the Puppet Conjurer for sure. I remember that. <laughs> that's the greatest card ever yeah got the puppet, con <laughs> puppet conjurer artist proof signed by the artist got it in like this gaudy gaudy frame it was amazing <laughs> steven loves that card all yes wish it was legendary so we could use it as commander <laughs> right special no, edition episode <laughs> Well, we do have the uh, the uh, legendary homunculus now. Oh well, yeah, the partner one. Yep. Yeah. Zinder split. Yeah, a lot of those cards were kind of cool. Yeah, I was excited. I'm. I, I like Battle Pond a lot. I have not had a chance to actually play any of the like two headed giant sealed or draft which because I did not have a chance to get out for the like release events or anything and during SCG con is when it released uh, so I was a little a little down about that but um I think we need some board wipe <laughs> what I don't know what you're talking about Maybe some spot removal for that champion. Jeremy, he's threatening your board. Let's go to Secret Alliance. Nope, this is going to Caesar. That seems fair. Block with uh, the mentor. Block with the mentor. Block with. The... <laughs> I almost forgot it had trample. <laughs> yeah. Only mentor was a warrior. All right. <laughs> what to do? <laughs> Mr. Tendo, who's the big target on the board? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I only have one card in hand. Therefore, I should not be that much of a threat, should I? Hmm. I'm curious. I think I might die if I don't do anything. <laughs> Fast. All right. Well, I think everyone's going to focus on Jeremy for the time being. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> Just sitting over here, playing lands and, you know, a Yavamaya elder. That's exactly the problem. You're playing lands. I don't like it. <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do, though. That and drawing cards are two worst things you can do. <laughs> playing lands and drawing playing, cards are, are playing two, control? Two, two favorite things. Green, red, control. A new thing. Those darn broken lands. Yeah. Those broken basic lands. Right? I should probably update this to actually have all the same lands, but it's also fun to make Valdar go. That one full art. Just the one. Ugh. Such a sad puppy on the couch over there. It's past his bedtime. And he did not get his nap today. My puppy is in uh, in her little cage. It's open though, so she goes in voluntarily. Yeah, he likes his crate, but not for just hanging out in usually. 
the cats hang out in his crate if he's not there. Because <laughs> it's got a, it's got like a pretty decent uh, crate liner, like soft bed thing inside of it for him. So, so the cats like to go what, chill on it. What kind of breed is it? Is it a my dog? He's a uh, yeah. he's a shepherd. We're not sure if he's German or Australian, and then. Uh, we were told he was Australian Shepherd and a Border Collie mix, but right. he really doesn't, like, his coloring is more of a German Shepherd. Yeah. And he's a short hair, so. So he's full of energy, and he's really smart, which does not work well together when he does not have, like, actual, you know, herding to do. He just gets bored and tries to herd our cats. <laughs> yes, not playing Smite bought the Nerf gun. Thank you for that, Crab Goddess. <laughs> Adam Mills. That was a weird combo to just come into. Yeah. We were talking about the Nerf War. Um, but yeah, the when we got him, he was, um, he was the runt of the litter as well. Mm -hmm. And so he's... He's a little bit smaller than I think the rest of the litter, but he's still, he's like 42, 44 pounds, something like that. So hmm. he's not. How, how much is that in kilograms? Is yeah. that? Yeah. Uh, it's like uh, American, the metric sorry. system. Yeah. <laughs> 44 pounds to kg is. 19, almost 20. Just a hair under uh, 20. 19.9. Yeah, so. Yeah, he comes up a little around knee height. And he's just very thin, you know. He's got that very sleek. Um, like, almost... Shepherd, he's just also because he's a short hair, he looks very thin. Yeah, but he has tons and tons of energy. We took him to uh, a border when he was around one year old uh, because my wife and I were going on vacation to Michigan and uh, didn't want to take him to her parents' house, um, knowing that they just like didn't want to have the animals in there so we were like yeah we'll just put him in a border for it was like four or five days um mm. or something like that and when we came by the guy who was running the borders was just like which one oh malcolm oh yeah that one <laughs> it's like yeah he's like yeah i played with him a ton we i just had a stick and just kept throwing it and he'd bring it back and it wore my arm out because i was doing it for like three hours like yeah that sounds about right that's what we did when uh, when he was a little, like around one. We were we would just throw toys yeah. in the house and he'd go pick them up, run back with him. Had to stop doing that because he tended to do the. He was very aggressive with toys, so he tended to like, uh, grab them and kind of thrash them about a bit, and so he'd get slobber everywhere, mm. and just cover all of our cabinets and our TV and. Forgot about the champion of lamb hold, though. Yep. <laughs> Can't be blocked by creatures powerless. But yeah, my old shepherd fetches bricks that nobody threw, and then the little one is super attention hungry. Yeah, he uh, he's he's a he's a goober. He will play for hours and hours if you give him the chance. He hates car rides, but he loves going places. <laughs> and he hates walks around our neighborhood, but he loves running around in our yard. Because he's kind of... Sounds like the curse of every dog. Yeah, he's kind of scared of other dogs that are bigger than him or smaller than him. <laughs> <laughs> so... It's kind of funny. Um... Hmm.
Hi, Bubba. Are you okay? Thawing glaciers. Yeah, I just thought I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> Usually I forget. <laughs> Yeah, he likes us, and he likes new people in his house that he knows and can go smell. Mm. But he freaks out when they first come in and barks a lot. But as soon as they're in and he <laughs> runs over to him and just, like, smells them and tries to get them to pet him, he just, like, does... He, he puts his head right underneath people's hands. <laughs> just like, come on, come on, you can pet me, come on. Um... So who fell out of the chat? Oh, did somebody fall out? Uh, was it me? No, it's uh, Luna, it looks like. Right. Nope. Okay. Not in any of the other chats, so hopefully we can grab them when uh, when they come back. Yep. Trying to debate on what I want to do here. <clears throat> Harry Daddles says, Hey Jeremy, you might be proud. Cast Villainous Wealth for X equals 42 would have done more, but only had 43 cards in his library. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, Lunel says, I think my phone just dropped audio. Uh. If you get back in. Right, the sun is back up here now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Right. Um, yeah. I think I'm good. I think I might not just jump in, jump, jump back into bed, just... Stay up. <laughs> just yeah, power through. Call it good. Just play some uh, like Mario Tennis or something. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've been wanting to get a Switch, but I bought a Wii when it came out. Played Mario, played Zelda, mm -hmm. and then sold it to a friend. And then I bought the Wii U when I had uh, some spare cash for my wife because she likes a lot of the older um like stuff from the virtual library uh, and so i was like yeah we'll get that and we can get her some of the old like harvest moon and ooh. stuff like that and then just we never play it so i'm always but the switch just seems so cool because you can because it's mobile you can bring it to the toilet yeah so you can just <laughs> you can just take it wherever you want you can take it on a road trip or whatever you want and it just seems super convenient like that but it's just another you know couple hundred dollars that i don't know that i want to spend right now since uh, well, i think it's worth it yeah well my current goal is to and and again if uh if you're new to the stream anybody in chat uh my current goal with all the subscribers donations bits everything like that currently is to uh, get a new computer, build something up so that I can have uh, something independent and hopefully make a bit more content because uh, right now I just use my wife's laptop. So it's a really nice laptop. We just bought it last year and it's a really powerful, but um, it is hers and she loves The Sims. So most of the time when I'm not streaming, she's playing. Thank you, Peldor. Yes, the Patreon as well which we do have options for $1 patrons, if you'd like. And then there are other uh, rewards for the higher tiers, signed cards, foil signed cards, and the ability to help out with, uh, with a uh, future Commander Versus deck. You and I will build it together if you do the Maelstrom Wonder one. 
we just have our first one here with Dean Sai, who's going to be doing that soon. Going to help me out with one of the first couple episodes. Should be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. Mino, geez, oh, Pete's. Nintendo Switch in Brazil, 1.6k. So, is that US? Or is that Brazilian Reels? Because, I mean, Brazilian Reels are still crazy high. Reels. Yeah. That's still... It's like five hundred, four hundred dollars US, something like that. I can't remember how much the disparity is anymore. You guys have a GP Sao Paulo coming up uh, this weekend, right? It's during the pre release. Yeah, three point something is the exchange rate. Oh, which reminds me, I totally forgot about this because I was so worried about him. Oh man, I passed off a a card for um, Sarah Angel down there, Fanny, uh, who's a YouTuber. Got her uh, artist proof from Greg Staples of Sarah Angel with a painting on the back. Uh, after getting some money together from some people just because I knew that because it's her uh, her uh, YouTube and uh, Twitter account are both Sarah and I handed it off to Wedge because he was supposed to be going to GP Sao Paulo but then he had his surgery in Vegas and I completely forgot that he's not going to be going anymore Cause, yeah, because of the back, back accident yeah because he hurt his back so he, he can't make the flight down there, you know. He's yeah. still just starting his recovery, so. Um, yeah, that's... I gotta figure out a way to get that to her then. Or have him get that to her, because we were afraid of sending it through the um, the mail. She was really worried about it not getting to her. <laughs> Mino says the, check, the exchange rate is 3.9 to 1 today for reals to U.S. dollars. Jeez. Yes, and uh, Wedge does have 76000 raised so far on the GoFundMe. They were aiming for 150, 150000 uh, to help out, and they said they had over 200000 in expenses overall. This is why they should have GPs in Norway, because like this wouldn't happen there. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Just about... If I hurt my back in Norway, like... Yeah. Just about I, I'm not bankrupt afterwards. Sorry. Any of the uh, no, just about any of the universal healthcare countries. Because if he had done that in Canada, there's a very good chance he would have been able to just get it done there too. Yeah. Release the gremlins. Yeah. That's not nice. I haven't seen that one in a while. <laughs> yeah, Luna got vo dropped from voice chat, so if they're back, uh, they said that they're... Oh, there we are. Hello again. Is it back? Looks like it. Dragged him back, but... Said maybe my Discord app, I don't see the streaming channel anymore, just hanging in general. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, sorry about that, Luna. I, I apologize. Yeah, <laughs> the streaming channel is actually uh, only... Um, visible to myself in mods currently so that we don't have people just randomly jumping in during streams. Yeah, I was sense. like, where, yeah. yeah. I didn't understand where to go. I was like, what? Yeah, so the, the mods will just drag you in when it's time to start, usually. Okay, what's going to happen? I can like poutine. Seems delicious. <laughs> yeah. Keep telling my wife, like, you know... There's a lot of schools in Canada that could use teachers right now. She's like, yeah, I think that, uh, she's like, she, she thinks that her parents would not enjoy it if we moved to Canada. So how much was the switch in, in the States? 
Uh, I think the Switch right now is only like 300, which isn't bad, honestly. Uh, it's just a matter of the Switch plus games. Yeah, it's a little like $412 something in Norway. Um, yeah, there's like a $300 one at Target right now, the Neon Blue. Uh, eBay's got, yeah, I, I think MS, like right now, if you go to a big box store, it's $300 US, so. And just for the console. So. But then we'd have to get all the games, and then we'd have to rebuy all the games on the. Does it have the virtual console? I'd heard that there was problems with it. Uh, there's no virtual console yet, but the, they will have this uh, like pay to play thing like later this year. And if you pay to play like like once a year, you get this virtual console thing. Okay, so it's more of a subscription service. Yeah. Like an Xbox Live or. Or, uh, is it like all the games in the library or I don't really don't know. And you killed the slime foot? Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> Vengeance. For what? I'm a little worried about getting comboed. <laughs> I had a better instant speed way to answer potential problems. Ooh. Yeah. Like this Nothing happens so. though. Nice. Uh, is Canada even real? Because it seems real. I can tell you they're always looking for teachers and nurses. Yeah, that's kind of what I had heard. That there was a lot of people that needed a uh, needed not a lot of places that need teachers, but it's more of a would we be able to uh, actually apply for citizenship and stuff like that and where would we go because i would like to live on the west coast because me being silly i would probably just start going and hanging out at the moon base until they started hiring me for stuff because <laughs> uh just because i'm a goof but no I'd, I'd probably talk to them and see if they needed help and if not just look around um that would be my preference but uh I know that we could also potentially live just east of uh, Michigan as well, somewhere around there, because then we would be closer than we are now to her parents, to my wife's parents, which would be nice, but that is something that I would love to do is actually hang out and actually work for Lure, but I know that they have a bunch of people that are part-time that they're trying to get full-time and I wouldn't want to disrupt anything like that. It just seems like a very, very cool place to hang out and work. Do it, then I can hang out with you more since I live so close to them and I can sneak into Lur. <laughs> Says Valdor. Uh, I wish I could work with Lur. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah, going to the pre release was a very big highlight of my year last year. Mm. I think that would be like the highlight of my life. <laughs> It was like, up there. Other than like getting kids. Yeah. <laughs> don't, ha don't have any yet, though. Yep. 33 and no kids. Yeah, I'm 35 and no kids. Huh. But we did just find out last July that my wife had ovarian cysts. So it would have been very difficult to have kids while that was going on. But they're much, much smaller. And one of them is gone now. The the one is much smaller the other one is gone so the doctor gave us the okay to start trying yeah. which is, what is we that the doing. is that the issue where you get like tiny cysts on your like entire like <laughs> tube no she had two huh? very large cysts in her ovaries oh yeah one was uh i believe the doctor said one was like two centimeters the other one was like eight centimeters uh ooh. yeah and she said that um if it had been like five years ago, they would have wanted to operate and take out the eight centimeter one because that's uh -huh. around where they get worried. But with the way that modern treatments work, like even even five years has advanced a lot. They've actually gotten to the point where they usually don't want to do surgery until about 10 centimeters. Um, but it's it was still very frustrating because she's ha had pain like 
most of her life. It's been really bad the last, like, five or six years, but pretty much since she was, like, 18, 19, she's had really bad pain, um, and the doctors kept misdiagnosing it, and basically just telling her, yeah, just have some, you know, just have some, like, Motrin or Advil or something, and you'll be fine. And it's just like, nah, she wasn't fine. So, but... They put her on birth control for a while, which sh- shrunk them, which means it wasn't cancer, which was good. Um, and eight eight elemental, yeah. And now she is much much better. So yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Like my girlfriend has this thing with her, uh, like entire to the like the tubes down there, mm-hmm. which makes it harder to get kids. Yeah. Uh, but I work in a kindergarten, so like yeah. <laughs> there's enough kids yeah yeah we're talking about them we don't know probably two if we can but yeah like that's just another one of those things where it'd be difficult to justify moving at the moment too if we were to mm-hmm. get pregnant she would like to move closer to Michigan because she wants to be closer to her parents, but I am also just kind of, I've moved around most of my life, and so I don't have any particular desire to live anywhere. I would like to live in Michigan just because that's where I've lived the longest, Uh. but there are a lot of options in the U.S., You should live in Norway. It's quite cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they want a guy who makes internet videos about Magic the Gathering Ooh. and a high school his, uh, high school English slash history teacher. Uh. Uh, Rick here. So what are your thoughts on making Omnath the commander for this deck but keeping Mina and Den in the 99? Uh, I could see that. I kind of like the Mina and Den just because it was a little cheaper and I like the ability of playing multiple lands, but I could see moving Omnath to it. <laughs> Each permanent sacrifice this way. Bruce. Crab Goddess. Also, Jeremy, don't know if you mentioned it, but it was super cool hanging out with you and your wife at SCGCon. You're both super nice people. Thank you. I liked hanging out with everybody else. We had a dinner on one of the nights, Friday or Saturday night. It was super sweet. Got to hang out with lots of uh, lots of mods and people from the stream. And it was super cool. There we go. Get it going. But you got like a million beasts over there, so <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's yeah, what I'm you know that's what I'm hoping is the wall of beasts. Shit is about to hit the fan, I guess. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Like one more mana, and I would be like able to do something quite cool. <laughs> I wish I could have gone to SGG Con. Well, we are having another one in the winter, December second, something like that. It's the first weekend in December. Board wipe, <laughs> or not? Yeah, December or it's November thirtieth through December second is what I think it was. So there will be another one. We don't have stuff like that in Norway because, well, well we got cons, but we don't have GPs because gambling is not allowed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Same <laughs> Bullshit. For, same for <laughs> Germany. Yeah. That kind of thing where it's considered gambling if there's cash prizes or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't there this thing in Germany where you got like computers and TVs? Yeah, that was that was the last one that they did because... The, the government was finally like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> just, oh, I can't remember the actual... There was a... I don't know if people have seen Eddie Izzard dressed to kill. No. Uh, it was, it's, it's probably still the funniest stand-up routine I have ever seen. 
it's fantastic um, because Eddie Izzard is just this he, he just goes and has like all these tangents but they all work so well and he did a whole section on um, on languages because he's he's British and so he did a whole uh-huh. section on like you know uh, here's the difference between uh, English and Britain and English in America and he's you know this and that is like uh, you say aluminum and we say aluminium and you say something and we say this and you say herbs and we say herbs because there's a fucking H in it <laughs> mm. <laughs> I usually try not to swear on stream but that's it's just such a good bit and then his other bit was uh was talking about uh religion and martin luther and he's mm. like and i pounded a nail into the door of this church and and the people were like wait a minute except they were german so they said and he said whatever ein bitten minuta whatever it is in, in german and i always mm. think of that whenever i hear wait a minute but the the whole thing is just it's i think it came out in 99 um and he's just probably one of my favorite living comedians huh. yeah, the, the language Vita. thing yeah. thank you the language thing kind of reminds me of these this other comedian he talks about how like americans say like sidewalk because that's what mm-hmm. you do there yeah <laughs> but they yeah. call it pavement <laughs> yeah or we call it a, a parking lot and other people call it a car park Things oh like come that. on yeah. valdor i know it's been a while are you going to scg vegas uh i am not going to scg vegas no unfortunately <laughs> yes i swore on stream <laughs> what a glorious day this is <laughs> and I was here. Yes. <laughs> was I like the instigator? <laughs> uh, Mino says gambling is not allowed here either, but I guess it does not fit the definition of it in our law. Yeah, because there's plenty of GPs. There's at least one a year, right? Or is there one every other year down in Brazil? I think there's usually one a year, but I can't remember exactly. <clears throat> Like I'm thinking, like gambling. Why should it be not illegal? Should not be allowed to do whatever I want with my with my own money. Yeah, I mean, I can definitely Ish. see the reasons <laughs> for not wanting to do it with like addiction and a couple other things. But, mm. um, but again, it is your own money. You should be able to just play and whatever. Mm. There's, you know. Is do, do they have a um, do they have like a, a state sponsored lottery or anything or is it just like yeah, zero they, gambling? Uh, in Norway, there's uh, they they got a monopoly basically for uh, for gambling, which mm-hmm. is kind of absurd because they're uh, they're saying that you sh- you shouldn't gamble, uh, but as long as, as long as you do it through us, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's, Which is, yeah. that's what it seems like a lot of places do, yeah. Uh, so it's only only about Monopoly. That's why you can't gamble. Because the lottery would lose money. Yeah, pretty much. Uh. I got this really weird card in the deck that I kind of regret that I put in here. <laughs> 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 one gp in brazil per year and another south american in santiago we had two until last year oh, okay boo are you gonna attach it to something make me sad oh sitting battle axe oh, okay not one of the creatures that's attacking me Get that first strike out here. What's the f- weird thing about Vegas, Crab Goddess? Just the gambling, or did Luna get bumped again? I don't know. Probably can hear us, but like board wipe incoming or. <laughs> 
I can hear. I just have my mic off because my air conditioner is running. Oh, okay. That's fair. Santiago's in Chile. Yeah, for flavor condition. Yep. Oh, living death. Oh. Gross. Well. Gruz. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Wish I could sacrifice some of my stuff. That'd be great. That was slimy. Alvarez insured in B and Vegas and he came back with a bunch of <laughs> trading cards listing special prices and apparently you can just request extra service somehow totally fine. Yeah, in Vegas it is. I mean it's a few hundred dollars, but still technically legal question mark. Yeah. It depends on what they're offering, I think. Like escorts are technically legal. <laughs> in Vegas. Um I think they're legal like outside of Vegas, like the Bunny Ranch and stuff. Uh, but yeah, you, you see those a lot. Whenever you see a, if you're ever in Vegas, if you walk down the strip, there's definitely guys just out there just doing this with cards and to get your attention. And as soon as you look at them, they just hand you a card and it's just like, oh, there's some boobs. I guess I just have this card with breasts and a phone number. That is some card game. <laughs> yeah. Some people like to collect as many of them as they can while they're there. We have some aggressive uh, flyers in Times Square as well. In Times Not with boobs on them, but you, uh, <laughs> you wind up with a lot of paper if you look at people. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks, Automod. Uh, yeah, it's weird just kind of how they do it, because prostitution is technically illegal, yeah. There, but... Like, most places you're not allowed to actually, like, solicit, as well, get a prostitute, but you're allowed to be a prostitute. In Vegas, <laughs> like, in it's certain... Weird. In, in other parts of Nevada, it's actually... It's actually legal, Yes. Uh, Mino says prostitution is illegal here. Pimping is not, which is actually a big thing. Yeah, they have to have like a, a specific service and stuff like that. Um, and I think that's what a lot of the the on, cause for closet. concern is. Is uh, Ooh, a is land. The autonomy and stuff <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm filming it, so technically it's porn, yeah. That whole bit. This? Is this porn? <laughs> no, no. It's the, magic porn. There, there was a... Uh, uh, Crab Goddess mentioned there's a bit from yeah. Family Guy, yeah, where it's like, they bust in, like, we're, we're arresting you for prostitution. Well, I'm filming it, so technically it's porn. It's like, oh, well, carry on then. Yeah, this, question, this conversation is making Automod mad, yes. <laughs> oh, that keeps catching prostitution and porn and and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, it's yeah. There's definitely a lot of uh, those cards that go around in Vegas, and kind of have to watch out for them. There's also giant billboard trucks. Like there's just these trucks that just have billboards on them with escort services and numbers. And like VIP lounges trying to get you to come to wherever. Hey, you come to our thing, it's, you know, free drinks, like free two drinks or whatever. And it's like, well, the VIP covers $50 and it's a four drink minimum. So your first two drinks are free and your next two are $12 or whatever it is. But we'll drive you there in a limo. It is only two blocks away. Oh. <laughs> but... Gross. So yeah, uh, are we going to Orlando? I saw earlier. Uh, I will not be, but Stephen Green goes to pretty much every open, so he will be there if you go to any of the open events, open weekend events. Um, I don't have plans on attending any of the events at the moment. I will be at Gen Con in a few weeks, if anybody's going to be there, and I'll be hanging out. Uh, and then 
There's a small chance that'll be going to PAX Unplugged in November. But it's like the weekend before the SCG Con winter. Uh, Gen Con is board games. It's one of the oldest running board game conventions in the U.S. They just had their 50th anniversary like last year or two years ago two years ago i think maybe it was last year can't remember which one it was there was a they have a thing there called true dungeon that they do every year uh which is a live action dungeon crawl where you and a bunch of people play uh like D style characters it's sort of larping but you don't have to play like full in character uh it's just more of an adventure type thing and you have uh poker chips that have different weapons and abilities and stuff on it yeah last year thank you mino was the 50th anniversary and those are sought after because they can carry from year to year and people really want like the super unique expensive ones uh super unique rare ones sorry and so it's really interesting uh i'd really like to go and last year or the one that they had was based off of the King Killer Chronicle books, The Name of the Wind and Wise Man's Fear. And I really wanted to go, but I can't justify the cost of it because it's like 50 something dollars, 60 something dollars for a run through. So, I really wanted to go, but couldn't justify it. I already trashed my bank account with SCG Con in Vegas. No traveling for me for the rest of the year unless I hit the lottery. That's fair. Uh, oh my giddy Cthulhu. Yeah. It's it's a wonderful show. I volunteered there for the last six years. This will be my seventh year. Um, and I'm very excited again for volunteering for... Uh, Ultra Pro, which we're doing. Oh, right. I forgot. Menace because of the one creature. Yeah, that um, stupid warrior. <laughs> yeah, it's got that one warrior because right. of my menace. So I think it might be close to dead. No, four, five, yeah. six, seven, eight, nine. I think is all that's come through to me, right? Yes. I did not do any math. Do they have double strike for any reason? Not yet. <laughs> yeah, not, not yet. We'll see. Uh, but I volunteered for Stoneblade Entertainment, which makes Ascension for several years. And then Ultra Pro got the rights to their production as of last year. Uh, they signed the contract two years ago at Gen Con. So I was working for Ultra Pro last year, and I'll be there again this year, helping to demo Ascension and other Ultra Pro games. And the new Stoneblade game is called Shards of Infinity, and it oh. seems pretty sweet. It's another deck builder, but it has some cool new mechanics. Yeah, I, like, I like Ascension. I'm looking up at year one, year two, and year three collector's editions right now. <laughs> yeah, the, the, those are kind of hard to come by nowadays, especially the year one and two. Yeah, they were quite, they were quite easy in Norway because people weren't playing them, so you haven't uh, had them for like years. Oh, nice. <laughs> there was no use in blocking because <laughs> if I didn't, uh, like, I wouldn't be able to combo off without it. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, okay. That was Caesar fall down. He, he was dead. Yeah, he's dead. Um. Might go to SCG Vegas, but I kind of want to play the main. Other than that, the big one near more is GP Portland and Vancouver Valdor. So yeah, that's that sounds good. Crab got us just finishing listening to King Killer Chronicles on Audible. Second time for both of them. Tech but I wish I could have gone. Yeah, I'm currently reading. I have a copy of the Name of the Wind 10th Anniversary Edition that I got for Christmas this last year. And I'm almost done with that one. Mr. Tendo's Magic Online. Uh, 
but yeah, I've just got done, or I'm almost done with reading uh, Name of the Wind, which is really sweet if you can get your hands on the anniversary edition, because it's a really nice hardcover, and it has in the back, um, it has a couple of things. It has a little bit of history stuff. It has a really nice map. Um, it actually tells you about the calendar and the currency system. And it has a pronunciation guide. I don't really care too much about the pronunciation guide. Pat Rothfuss has basically said, however you pronounce it in your head is how it how it's pronounced oh he's, no that's just that kind of he's that kind of guy yeah this seems poor for us <laughs> it's it's believe me it's not <laughs> <laughs> uh seriously like my hand has been basically lance and and crap sorry yeah. like if i can say crap on stream that's, that's fine <laughs> yeah i usually just try not to swear too much um yeah mr tendo three that's actually why we yes uh uh Nerovi pointed out yeah we we play a budget version where it's three tickets which is roughly three dollars us um and so it makes it so that the decks are much much cheaper so i generally i think i've put like i think i said like 50 ish dollars into magic online in the last year and I've got, you know, probably a dozen commander decks. Uh, I mean, you're priced out of a couple of staples with our budget, so you don't have Soul Ring and you don't have Command Tower and you don't have Commander Sphere and a couple other stuff. And there's obviously other cards that are way more expensive, but you do have a very good selection. I mean, you can get cards for like one cent that you would never think that would be in real life, that they can be super expensive. They're... The big one that we talk about all the time is Vampiric Tutor, <laughs> because on here it's like one cent or two cents or something like that, and on in paper it's several hundred dollars. Yeah, I play with people in the Discord. You, there's a sign-up sheet. If you'd like to play, you're more than welcome to. Seriously, one cent? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep. Why? Why am I not playing this card? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. It was expensive. <laughs> no, man, there's a promo vampiric tutor that was given out to people in the promos uh, that just if you buy stuff, it comes in those promo packs. Mm. Uh, so it was given out just like the the lightning greaves here that I have, which is the promo version, is like three or four cents or something like that. Yeah, that and the, the mind stone. Yeah, and like stuff like that. Yeah. So. So it's and the necklace are, yeah, but there's also stuff where if it's like commander specific stuff that just came in the pan commander precons, especially in the last couple of years, because before you used to be able to buy the whole decks, and then within the last couple of years they've stopped doing that, and they just started putting specific commander precon cards in the treasure chests. So some of mm. those are actually really expensive. Like I think Tempt with Discovery is like fourteen dollars, yeah. or something ridiculous like that. Um, like, do you think Battle Bond will be in the in chests? The Battle Bond cards are going to be in the chests. Yeah, they've said that there's a few of them. Uh, there's not very many, and I don't. I think... guess Najila. <laughs> uh, yeah, Najila I think is coming. I don't think they're doing any of the partners quite yet, but they plan on putting them in there. And then there's the one card, the the blue card that everybody was going nuts for and said was going to be like super playable in Legacy or Vintage. Um, I can't remember the name of. It's like, uh, not Tempt with Discovery. What's the other one? There's another one. I I, I apologize, Crab Goddess. It wasn't Tempt with Discovery. Um, it's the other green one that's like. Collective Voyage, maybe? Yeah, one of the ones was super expensive. Sorry, these are not stacking quickly at all. Uh, if you... Yeah. 
Well, it doesn't tell me which Portal Horde Chief is which, and I'm trying to not have him gain life. No, not the Arena Rector, the blue one. <clears throat> oh, wow, that's actually way cheap, too. Which What's the one I was thinking of? Because those are both really cheap. There was definitely one that was like 14 tickets before. Oh, they put it back in the chests recently. That's what it was. Uh, Spell Seeker. Yeah, that's the one that I think that that sounds the right one. I need more saplings. Confluence is <laughs> like three six. But yeah, one of those two. Um, one of those two green searcher lion or go get a bunch of land cards or whatever. Uh, Whoa. was like fourteen dollars, but I think they just put it back in the chests like two months ago, so they probably dropped down like crazy. Feel it. You feel that? <laughs> it's, like wind bonds. it's a rumble in the jungle is what's happening here. <laughs> oh. The murder king. Right. Yeah. Yep. To fear, yeah, we don't we trust everybody just to make sure you're you know, keeping it on the level there and uh as far as the spreadsheet goes and then and then you can just go through and purchase it on magic online and you're all all good i am at four life points to your 50 life points i believe in you jeremy i, I believe in you i you feel like it. this is going to go poorly for me probably would be easier if you like just randomized it <laughs> with a dice yep oh there's a dark <laughs> steel plate yep 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 Okay, I cannot block all of these because they all have menace, don't they? Nope. But yes, don't forget your menace, fog. Life link, trample, commander. My fog in my hand. <laughs> Hold on. You know what? Let's. Uh... You you can return some lands. Can return some lands. I can draw a card. That's true. I can draw a card. I have to do this, and then draw my card. Hallelujah. Pay my two. Uh, this major the didn't realize you streamed. Nice. Yes. I uh, stream mostly Tuesdays and Thursdays, or uh, Tuesdays and Saturdays, excuse me, and play a budget <laughs> version of Commander. That's not going to do it. <laughs> and I'm dead. What was it? <laughs> Into the Wilds. All right, which I've been that's meaning. not going to do it. Yeah, I've wanted to play that one for quite some time. All right, grass, Lunel. <laughs> grass, good games. Yeah, good game. That was a lot of good game for me, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, have a nice night, everyone. All right. All right, cool. Bye. Me, everyone. All right, so it's about midnight, which is about when I like to stop. So. <laughs>